Well, well, well. We're getting close to Halloween, so happy Halloween, everybody. But today I'm gonna to showcase a cool little attachment on my other video where I showcased how to improve your red connection by playing with other people or playing by yourself. Now, as I mentioned before, your red connection can appear if your connection is bad, but more so if you're actually lagging, for example, if your game can't keep up, um, whether it's a performance on your system um, or things like that. So how do we go further into Improving the performance of your game. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. So before I do that, my name is All Fun and Games. I stream every single day on Twitch TV, and I also do little tips and tricks videos for YouTube, uh, uh, for Don't Start Together, and a few other games as well. Well, immediately if you press backspace, you will see a bunch of things show up. The thing I want you to focus on is on the top right corner where it says FPS 60. And as you move around, as long as the FPS is not going down below 60, uh, you will notice that you are most likely playing DST at a very smooth um, amount of FPS, meaning your PC can keep up. Now, as things spawn in, like let's spawn in, um, let's go ahead and spawn in some deer clops just for the fun of it. Let's spawn in. No, you know what? Let's spawn in grass geckos. Uh, grass geckos. Let's spawn in 50 of them. As we spawn them in and we get closer to them, our FPS is still maintaining that, which means that perfect test to know that your computer is able to handle, um, a ton of things spawning in. Now, of course, if we spawn them on ourselves, we go, let's go 150. FPS is still maintaining it, your computer is still able to keep up. If you can do these tests and your connection and you're not lagging, chances are you are more than okay to be able to play uh, with multiple people and ha have your computer support it. However, some people press backspace and they notice that their FPS is like 10, 15, 20. Uh, their connection is consistently going from green to red. And as I mentioned before, this is a host performance. This means your performance of your computer. It doesn't necessarily mean your connection. Of course, if you're playing by yourself and you're going to red connection and uh, an amber connection, well, obviously you're not, you're, you're connecting locally. So that is not an actual connection. That is your computer's performance and don't start together. So what ends up happening is a lot of times people connect and they go, oh my God, the host is lagging. Their internet must be horrible. Yes, that's true. It could be internet related, but if your internet's working fine, chances are it's most likely your computer being underperformed. So a simple little trick that you can do to increase the performance of Don't Starve Together, which when I do it, it's gonna make my game look worse um, and it's gonna make my game feel laggy. However, it does increase your FPS. Go into your settings, go into graphics, and you go over to netbook mode and you enable netbook mode. And as soon as you do that, you go back into your graphics settings and you'll notice that uh, there's other few, few things you can disable as well. Screen shake, distortion, bloom, screen flashes, all these things can be disabled, uh, you know, in order to actually allow more uh, FPS. So you can kind of play around with these settings yourself, full screen or not full screen mode, that probably won't help you much. Lowering the resolution, same thing. It might help you a little bit, but not too, too much. Netbook mode is what we're gonna focus on. So as we go back in here, we press escape. Now my FPS is capped at 30 FPS, meaning the game only has to match 30 FPS in order for you to see, you know, how the game is performing. You gotta move around. And once again, you know, if this is now allowing your game to cap at 30 FPS, instead of going above to that 60, you should notice a little bit of a performance. I'm noticing a downgrade in the quality because I'm so used to playing at 60 FPS and it doesn't look smoother, but people that are were playing at 10 FPS or 15 FPS, this not only allows the game to be capped at 30, but it also lowers the graphics overall. So you'll notice kind of maybe when you're moving around, things don't look so, so smooth and uh, things don't look so shiny as they did before and kind of you know, have the have kind of like that nice uh, appeal to it. However, performance wise, it should improve a lot. Not only that, it also helps to not render things so far away. So let's go ahead and disable it. I'm back at 60 FPS and you can see my FPS just climbs right up. Um, and that's what it does, it caps and uncaps your FPS. Um, so then that way now, uh, things are nice and smooth again. But of course, like I said, if you have a computer that cannot support uh, the 60 FPS and you're moving around and you're seeing it dip down to 35 or 25, going into netbook mode will hopefully fix that for you. I've seen a lot of computers low-end laptops, uh, potentially like little Celerons or Intel Pentiums uh, that 
uh, even i3 laptops like i3 6100s with four gigs or eight gigs of ram that can't really support much on it try to play dst they get really low fps they enable netbook mode and boom they're able to actually play it again so give that a try see how it goes and once again you press backspace to check out your fps um you're able to see everything that you need to there and know that okay look now my fps is kind of capping around 30 and you want that consistent frame rate when you have consistent frame rate your game runs smoother you don't have choppiness you don't have lagginess and not only only that netbook mode reduces the amount of off screen kind of, you know, window that you have here. Like, of course, this is your window in DST that shows, you know, what you can see. But of course, you know, off screen or outside of this window quote unquote, that there are things moving around. There's clockworks moving around. There's different entities moving around uh, that are happening, not necessarily too close to you, but with netbook mode on, it reduces how far off uh, that window goes. And that way you're loading less textures uh, you know, around you. So give it a shot, see how it goes. I hope that it does good for you. And I hope that it improves your game a little bit. Once again, you can also play around with other settings in your graphics. So I'll kind of go through the graphics real quick. Full screen, obviously pretty straightforward. Resolution, reducing that may help your graphics a little bit, but to be honest with you, it won't really play around with too much. And sometimes lowering your resolution will make your game look real bad. And you might notice, okay, wow, this is not, this is kind of unplayable. Refresh rate is basically matching what your monitor will go at. So chances are, if you don't have a gaming monitor, you'll be stuck at 60 FPS or 30 FPS, or sometimes, you know, 50, depending on what your monitor caps at. Small textures, of course, leave that alone. Netbook mode leave that alone small textures you can turn on and off if you like these are completely up to you texture streaming once again you can disable or re-enable that and threaded render you can disable or, or enable that and then once again we went through these options so these are more so just to make your game look better or worse um, and these are things that you can change but netbook mode is what i wanted to focus on today so then that way you can feel how it is in order to actually play the game uh with a on an option that was meant for lower end laptops. And as I mentioned before, this might help you uh, maintain that green connection. If you are noticing that, okay, it is still having major problems. I still don't know what's going on or why can't I play the game. You can always go to the recommended on Steam and kind of compare your computer specs to the recommended um, that is needed to play DST. Now, my recommendations for Don't Starve Together for hosting and, uh, and or you know, playing the game, i3, 8 gigs of RAM um, is probably ideal. Uh, if you have anything over that, you're probably okay to play DST with a few friends. Anything under that, you might notice a little bit of lag. It all comes down to graphics quality. So if you're on a laptop that is an Intel graphics and it's on board, that's called Intel HD graphics. And keep that in mind that Intel HD graphics is generally not recommended for gaming up into a certain amount. Um, of course, you're going to be, you know, using a lot of those graphics powers to just load the game. Um, and if you have other people on the server, it's going to also deteriorate that as well. If you have a Ryzen processor on your laptop, Laptop that has onboard uh, has an onboard Vega graphics, which actually is okay. That's why a lot of people like Ryzen processors, and those tend to load graphics a little bit better, generally giving you about four times the performance of an Intel HD graphics set. You know. In, that's in comparison. But if you have a desktop and you have a dedicated graphics card, once again, you can compare that. I think that generally speaking, if you're looking in terms of graphics cards, Anything for like a GT 1030 or 730 or 630 or 530, something like that, or even a 430 and above will play Don't Strap Together perfectly fine. Something that uh, has like a two gig card or one gig card is probably more than enough to play DST. So those are just my recommendations. Of course, you know, it really depends on other variables too, what kind of hard drive you're using, all that other stuff. But overall, netbook mode is something to give a try to. Feel free to try it. Let me know how it works for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know if netbook mode works because I've, I'm always curious and always letting people know to try it. People are always coming into my stream and saying, I can't play DSD, it's too laggy for me. I tell them to try netbook mode and they're like, wow, after I started doing that, I'm able to finally game with people and I'm not having as much lag as I did before. So let me know if it helps you. If it does, if it doesn't, all that other stuff. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.